Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain how to back up all the drivers installed in Windows 11 in one simple step using the PowerShell command. And I will also explain how to restore them when needed. This method ensures you always have your drivers ready and compatible with your current system. Whether you're planning to reinstall Windows 11 or simply want peace of mind, Backing up your drivers is a crucial step that can save you a lot of time and headaches. Every device connected to your PC, your graphics card, sound card, Wi-Fi adapter, or even a virtual device relies on a specific driver to function correctly. Normally, after reinstalling Windows, you'd have to manually search for each driver and install them one by one. This method will save you a lot of time. Well, to begin, you should know that all installed drivers on your computer can be viewed through Device Manager. So you should know that you'll be backing up the drivers listed in this list. Before starting the backup, create a folder to store your driver backups. Avoid using the C drive as it may be formatted during reinstallation and you'll lose your driver backups. I'll create folder on drive D and give it a descriptive name, for example, driver backup, so it's easy to access. You should also specify the path to this folder as we'll need it when executing the backup command. Next, open the PowerShell window as administrator. Running PowerShell with elevated privileges allows access to system files, including protected driver folders. In PowerShell window, type the command shown on the screen. This command directs PowerShell to export and backup the driver packages. Online means you're targeting the current Windows installation, and destination means this is where you want to save the drivers. Then type the path to the folder you created and press Enter. PowerShell will scan your system and begin exporting each third-party driver to that folder. This process may take a few minutes. Wait for the command to complete, and close the PowerShell window after confirming that it has completed without any error messages. Next. Verify the backup. Open the folder you specified for the backup and confirm that the backup was successful. You'll usually find multiple folders named after the devices and drivers. This means the backup was successful. Each folder will typically contain .inf, .sys, and .cat files, the key components of a Windows driver. You can keep this folder on drive D or move it to an external storage device for later use. Now let's learn how to restore installed drivers from a backup. I'll perform the restore manually, not using PowerShell. This method will be useful if you reinstall Windows or want to update a specific driver. Open Device Manager, as I mentioned. This window shows all hardware devices installed on your computer. Browse through the list and find the device that needs its driver installed. Devices without drivers might appear with a yellow warning icon. If you don't find it, I'll update any device on the list, for example. Right-click on the device name and choose Update Driver. Then select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then click the Browse button and select the root folder where the backup is stored. Don't open subfolders. Select only the folder and click OK, then click Next. Windows will now scan the folder Locate the appropriate .inf file and install the driver. You will then see a message confirming that the driver installation was successful. You can repeat the same process for any other devices that require drivers or after reinstalling Windows on the same computer. That's all there is to today's video. We've learned the steps to back up and restore all your drivers in Windows 11 using the PowerShell command. This trick is extremely useful especially if you're setting up multiple computers or reinstalling Windows. This method will save you from having to search for drivers from the manufacturer's websites every time. They're all saved and ready to use. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss more upcoming Windows tips and lessons. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.